Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I've got a few questions about the must-know technologies for web developers. As a web developer, what are the technologies that you must know in order to be successful? This is sort of a hard question to answer because there's obviously a lot of different web technologies out there, a lot of different technologies that you could know, but which ones must you know? Well, I'm going to start by breaking it down to the absolute simple must. You have to know these things. So first of all, you're going to have to know HTML, obviously, right? I, I hope that, that me telling you this isn't a big surprise for you, uh, because if you don't know HTML, you're probably not going to be much of a web developer. Now, uh, do you have to know the insides and outs of HTML? and know what every single tag and every single thing does and the entire spec of the language? Absolutely. <laughs> you better know at least that because that's your job. Uh, <clears throat> I'm surprised by how many web developers don't understand HTML. It's not that difficult. It's not that complicated. You should definitely invest the time in learning that because that, that is your job. So second, what are you going to need to know? You're going to need to know CSS, obviously. Uh, you know, HTML and CSS go together, and uh, everything that is done in websites today, especially uh, when, you're, when you're talking about creating sites that work on multiple devices, right? Uh, you're going to need to know CSS. So you should know CSS again. This is one of those technologies that you should know inside and out. It's not really programming, right? HTML and CSS aren't programming necessarily, but these are technologies that you need to know because if you don't know these things, you're gonna be greatly handicapped. And these are not just for designers, right? Because the thing is, yes, maybe you are doing web development, but you're not doing the design aspect of it. Uh, but you have to understand how to implement these things. If you're given a design, you should be able to implement that design, and that's gonna require knowing HTML and CSS, and you're gonna to need to know how to troubleshoot things uh, that designers create, and, and, and it's gonna be a big handicap if you don't know those things really, really well. So that's where I would start. Then the other thing that you're gonna to need to know, the other major thing, and this is probably really, this is probably really the only three things we actually need to know, but you need to know JavaScript, and that's because JavaScript is all over the web, it runs the web, and with just those three today, you could be a full stack web developer, basically. Like you could do web development just knowing those things. You don't even have to know uh, anything else because you have things like Node.js today that you could use to, uh, to to create an entire application just using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So that's really the basics. And, and again, with the JavaScript, you might not need to know JavaScript inside and out, but you should be familiar with it at least and, and be fairly skilled in JavaScript. With HTML and CSS, I'd say 100%, you have to know those, those cold. You should really, if, if you're gonna be effective. Now, as far as uh, other technologies and tools that you need to know to be a, a good web developer today, uh, it, th there's where it depends on, the, the, on how you're gonna do web development. If you know the basics and you understand those, those things, the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript, you're probably gonna be able to do web development uh, and, and it's not going to matter so much what other language that you use. You know, you can go pretty much any direction. Just about every single programming language today has uh, not only uh, a web development framework, but has tools to help you to do web development. So you could be C Sharp, you could be Java, you could be Python, you can even be Perl if you like, <laughs> or PHP. Um, so those things are going to be secondary. I would say though that Another skill that's really important uh, for most web development today is understanding MVC. Um, that's Model View Controller because a lot of the popular web frameworks, a lot of the way that web applications are built today uses MVC. So uh, in addition to that, uh, you probably are going to want to know at least uh, one JavaScript framework, main JavaScript framework for doing uh, web development. A lot of web development today is using Angular uh, JS or or another uh, tool like that. Uh, Angular is probably the most popular one right now, so you can't go wrong with that. So if you're trying to teach yourself to be a web developer, I would definitely recommend first mastering HTML and CSS, 
learning uh, some JavaScript and then picking up at least one framework. And the best way uh, to, to know that you can do this is to build something, right? You, you can never know that you are good at something unless you can actually build something. So as a developer, you shouldn't be afraid of building, you should be building apps, build different kinds of apps. And, and one thing that I always recommend is that you start off with a, an app that's already built. You just duplicate that app because you don't want to have to like <laughs> come up with, there's a difference between creating an app or designing an app or, or and, and building an app. And you don't want to, you want to separate the two. You want to be able to implement first. You know, they're, they're to totally different skill sets and a lot of people combine the two and then they have trouble learning because they're trying to learn two things at once or they're trying to design an app. So copy something, find something out there, start with a simple to-do list app, start with something or do something a little bit more complicated. Maybe if you really want to be test your web development skills, see if you can create a mail client application that works uh, with a ma with mail client that lets you send and receive and and read emails uh you know that that's a, that's a good place to to go of course so again this is just my recommendations of the top skills that you'll need to have in order to be a web developer today let me know what you think if you think there's something i'm missing here uh if you think that there's uh, that you don't need html or css uh, I, i'm pretty sure that you do but i'm happy to hear your opinion and if you like this channel subscribe uh, to to it and i'll talk to you next time take care